Danielle, there's a famous experiment in which, a demonstration in which you put uh, water into a metal can, put it on the stove and boil it and get it full of steam, and you put mm -hmm. the top on, and then you pour cold water on it and the can collapses like yeah. that. But it's sort of dangerous because you have a, you know, boiling water. We're going to do the same thing with a um, plastic, you know, two liter bottle mm -hmm. and warm water. It doesn't right. even have to be boiling. So you take the tongs okay. and ho put the tongs around there and hold it up like that mm -hmm. so that I can put uh, warm water in the bottle. Funnel. The bottle's filling up with yeah, you can see how it's, hot, it's uh, hot water. So when I put it, get it all filled with uh, hot water, and then we dump out the water, what will be left in the bottle? Hot, moist air. Yeah. And if we cool off the moist air, the moist, warm air, what should happen? The bottle should collapse. Why? Because when the cold water hits the hot, moist air, that turns to cold, and that Makes the bottle well, it'll lower the pressure inside, yeah. and the outside air pressure will collapse it. Okay, mm -hmm. now there's the top over there, see? Yeah. When I turn it up, you put the top on, okay. and behind you is a tank full of cold water. I want you to okay. put it in there, okay? Right. Okay. Outside air pressure then is going to oh, put the top on. Nice and tight, real tight. Okay, take the tongs. Okay. And put it in the cold water. It's beginning to collapse already. And <laughs> there we go. Now here's so this is the modern bottle version of the famous collapsing can, and this time we call it the collapsing bottle. Try this at home. Hot water okay. and then cold water, and you can make it squash like that as though it were in the hand of a giant. <laughs>